Hello there, this is Gudini here from Wake Up Reykjavik. Welcome you back to our channel. And if you're watching this video, you may be considering visiting Iceland in May. Do you get it? You may be considering? <laughs> Anyways. Well, that's just perfect because today I'm going to be giving you a comprehensive guide on visiting Iceland in May. On everything from what to pack to what tours to take, just sit back, relax and enjoy the video. But before you start relaxing, be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up to be able to follow all the videos we do here about everything Iceland related. All done! Great job! Now relax! No go back to relaxing. Now let's dive right in and explore Iceland in May is a fantastic time to enjoy Iceland's abundant natural beauty. Since in May, the sun will start to rise at around 5 a.m. and it does not set until around 10 p.m., giving us 17 glorious hours to enjoy the daylight. And those hours are best enjoyed exploring and having fun. The average weather temperature in May fluctuates from around 3 to 9 degrees Celsius, which is around 37 to 48 degrees Fahrenheit. So with that, when coming to Iceland in May, what should you pack? Lucky for you, I made a full packing list on what to bring with you to Iceland in May. And you can see it right here on the screen. And this is very similar to other months that we have covered here on the channel, where layers are going to be your friends and waterproof gear is ideal. Especially sturdy waterproof shoes for any outdoor activities you might have booked during your stay. Another thing to look at on the list is going to be swimsuit and towels for any geothermal pools or lagoons you might have booked during your stay here. And it might be surprising, but I am advising that you bring sunglasses and possibly sunscreen. Since in May the daylight hours are getting longer and the sun here in Iceland can be quite strong. And if you're going to be driving around yourself, the sun can kind of get in your eyes, so definitely bring your sunnies. And then sunscreen is always smart. How do you guys think I stay so young? And of course the reusable water bottle so you can get water everywhere you go. Because water is everywhere here in Iceland. And it's always free. Just bring it with you, fill it up and enjoy on the go. But yeah, the full list is here, so just have a look, write it down and start packing. Tours to do in Iceland in May. Now, since May is the beginning of summer and we're getting longer daylight hours, it's a great month to come to Iceland and do some fun tours and excursions to see our beautiful island landscape and nature. Now, some of the tours I personally love doing in May are as follows. Number one, I think that the Golden Circle is a must-do tour when you come to Iceland, since it covers so much of our famous and iconic land sites, like the Golden Waterfall, the Geyser, and the Thingvellir National Park, where our parliament was funded. And the great thing about this tour is that you can also customize it to your liking since we have so many variants available. You can do the classic Golden Circle tour where you go to the Kerith Volcanic Crater and the Friðheimar Tomato Farm. But then you can also do the Golden Circle with the Secret Lagoon added where you also visit the Friðheimar Tomato Farm. But then you end up the full day of exploring by enjoying a dip in the geothermal Secret Lagoon. Then you can also do the Golden Circle and Snowmobile combo. We go the classic golden circle route and hit up all major sightseeing stops along the way and then you end your tour with a thrilling snowmobile ride. But like I said, there are so many ways to do the golden circle tour. So you check out our website at wakeupreykjavik.com, you will see all these variants of the golden circle tour. But no matter the one you choose, we can guarantee that it will be super fun and also a small group experience which in my opinion is the best way to explore. May is also the official start of the cutest season here in Iceland, the puffin season. So if you want to see the puffins, you have to come to Iceland from anywhere in May to the end of August. Since in May, they return back from the seas to breed all around the island. And the best way to see these cuties is hands down hopping on a small group rip boat tour that will get you very close to them. It's located in the old Reykjavik harbor and the tour only takes a little bit over an hour. It's a great tour to pair with other tours. In my opinion, the rib boat will get you the closest and it's the most fun way to see them. But if you have any back problems or the rib boat sounds a bit intimidating to you, no problem at all. We also have a classic puffin tour that will also get you super close to them. And on that tour, you will have amenities on board like restrooms and a cafeteria. Another great tour to do here in May is our horseback riding tour. It is located just about 20 minutes away from Reykjavik in Hafnarfjörður, my old hometown. But no worries, you do not need to know how to pronounce the town's name to be able to join the tour. But it does help. So you should try. Okay. Good effort. The tour does not require any skill level whatsoever, so any first-time riders are welcome to join but also experienced riders should have a fantastic time on this tour. You can either meet them on location or you can choose a pickup as you book the tour and they will then supply you with all the necessary equipment. 
It is so much fun and a great activity to do in the brighter summer months. And lastly, a foodie tour in May is the perfect way to get to know the vibrant city of Reykjavik. So join in for our Reykjavik food walk early in your trip to get some local know-how. The Reykjavik food walk is a three-hour food and fun adventure where you walk around the city of Reykjavik with local guides while eating everything Icelandic and hearing about Icelandic culture, stories and history. And it just might be the highlight of your trip. Now all of these tours I have been talking about and so many others are available on our website wakeupreykjavik.com so if you're looking to book the best small group experiences for your stay here in Iceland in May hop on over there and be sure to use the promo code GOODNY G-U-D-N-Y for a little added discount on your booking as a thank you for watching this video. Thanks. Events and special dates happening in May. My favorite thing about May in Iceland is that it's kind of the official kickoff to summer. Our days are getting longer and you will see all the locals out in the city having fun, enjoying the sun. Well, hopefully their sun. Now the first of March starts with Labor Day, which is also known as just Feste Mai here in Iceland. Originally, it's a protest day, so still to this day, we will have marches going around in the city. So we will have marches and events happening in Reykjavik. So if you're in the city then, definitely join in the fun. But also March 1st is the official day of the Icelandic horse. So a great day to do a horseback riding tour, if you ask me. And on the second Sunday here in May, we have Madratauren, or Mother's Day here in Iceland. If you'll be here in Iceland on your travels then, remember to give your mom a call. But if you'll be traveling with her, take her to see Puffins. So we all do with our moms here when we celebrate Mother's Day. Or at least I do. On May 18th, we have International Museum Day here in Iceland. So if you're in the city on that day, a lot of our museums here in the downtown area will have special events and free guided tours happening then. Definitely check those out. Also have Ascension Day and With Monday later here in May. Nothing too special is going on there. I just wanted to mention them because some stores might have limited opening hours during those dates. But in general, bars, restaurants, and all tours will definitely be up and running just as usual. General tips for May in Iceland. Always check the weather forecast before heading out on any excursions, but don't look at it with too much of a notice. I'm constantly getting emails where people are messaging me, oh my god, Guni, I'm coming in three weeks, I see that there's a possibility of rain, will my puffin tour get cancelled? Now, I have lived 29 years on this earth, and in those 29 years, I have sadly yet not been able to predict the future. And you know what? The Icelandic forecast people don't even do that good of a job at it either. So watch the forecast, but don't watch it weeks and weeks on out. Check it with about a five or three days notice, and from there you'll get some idea of what the weather will be. But then again, the weather here in Iceland can change very quickly, very drastically. So always check the forecast the day before your excursions, just in case. Because you might unexpectedly get heavy rain and heavy wind. And then it's good to be prepared. Now, while roads are generally clear here in Iceland in May, it's always worth checking out safetravel.is and road.is for any road conditions. Then remember to save the Icelandic emergency phone number, which is 888 or 112, should you need it. Especially if you're going to be driving yourselves in remote areas. And lastly, since May is the start of the summer, but not the official high season here in Iceland, you can still get some pretty nice deals if you book accommodations and tours with the notice. Although May is not the most popular month, it's definitely a popular month to come to Iceland. So book with a notice and you'll be good to go. And that wraps up our guide on visiting Iceland in May. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and I know you're already subscribed to the channel, so we're taking care of that one. Do you still have any questions about Iceland in May? If so, drop them in the comments and I will answer as many of them as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you here next time in Iceland. Bye.